Okay, welcome along to vlog number two from Palfish Paul. Okay, so thank you so much to everybody who has subscribed, liked, and interacted with the channel so far. I'm very happy with, <coughs> excuse me, take two, the analytics and the numbers from the first vlog, and the signs are looking good that this is going to be an exciting and fun channel to produce. So, the first vlog was on the three reasons why I feel Palfish is the only ESL company to work for. So, as you can see, I've taken this vlog on tour, come out to nature, sitting in the sunshine, showing you a bit of the vibes here in Bangkok. Not really, I'm about two meters away from where the first vlog was shot, but, uh, you know, Songkran is coming up here in Bangkok. I decided it'd be good to be outside a bit and feel the vibes and the energy. <clears throat> and I don't want to have the same background in every vlog, of course, so we'll mix it up a little bit. <gasps> so exciting. All right, so vlog number two is on pay. How much can you earn on Palfish? Now, I may have put the cart before the horse a little bit. There should probably be a more basic and simple introduction into just what even Palfish is. I was a little bit esoteric in the first vlog, and I will be here again. Vlog number three later this week will kind of be a reverse engineering and going back to square one. Sorry for OCD people out there, even me included. It's, it'll be a bit weird, but I want these first two vlogs up first because I already have articles written on them on, did you know, Jason McCarthy's excellent, why, why have I got a <coughs> Alex Jones raspy voice today? I don't know. Sorry, I need to clear my throat a little bit. Let's get down to it, all right? <laughs> Maybe this coffee's hit me a bit hard. I do have my phone with me. Don't worry, I won't be looking at the phone too much. This is just to um, ad-lib a bit the article. I have most of it all memorized and you know stored away in my brain from six months on Palfish already. So, in this vlog, it's now time to get down to the important business of money making. Because as much as I truly enjoy my work and my podcasting on Palfish, at the end of the day, of course, it is a, a business venture. We're here to make money on it. Okay, so there are two features on Palfish, the OKC, Official Kids Course, and the Free Talk feature. I'm only on Free Talk now, okay? I left the Kids Course because I wanted to dedicate all of my energy and resources into the free talk area and I already do have another teaching platform which I'm very satisfied with and I, I can't do the three of them at once like I only have one mouth and two eyes to interact with these students with and all of the schedules ultimately will clash okay so let's get this straight from the get-go the kids course is the superior earner early days when you're starting off the kids course will absolutely earn you the more money than the free talk and in fact I would make a guesstimate that around 90% of the successful Palfish teachers are earning 90% of their income from the official kids course it's just the culture and the ecosystem of Palfish is conducive to the kids course okay it classes are constantly sent to you as an official kids course teacher and when you're there you will get the classes on free talk you need to quote unquote hustle for students and find students as I am outlining in these vlogs meeting people on your wavelength and building podcasts with them okay so the kids course straight up will initially earn you 55 RMB for a 25 minute class multiply that by two for a 50 minute hour class shall we say that's 110 RMB which is uh, roughly, da, 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 what is that? That's about, oh my god, I've, I've missed out on how much that is, sorry. Um, we'll have to work that out through xe.com. Uh, that rate actually increases by 5 RMB per level. Okay, the kids course has level 1, 2, 3 and 4. When you get to level 4, you earn 70 RMB for the class, 140 RMB for the hour. Okay, very, very good cash. For the kids class now the free talk um, you set now you set from 1.5 RMB up to 5 RMB that's what you're allowed to set it at now 
let's get it straight here. You can pick your jaw back up off the floor. Nobody is actually earning five RMB per minute, which is about $45 an hour. Nobody. Um, some tutors do have their ratings set to that, but that's as a prohibitive pricing to say, I don't want to do free talk. It's like to turn people away from calling them. Nobody is receiving calls there. Your ballpark figure to be aiming for after a successful period like I've had is 2 to 2.5 RMB. Okay? You start yourself off at 1.5 RMB, which is about $13.5 an hour. Okay? I know we're going between minutes and hours, but that's just the way it is. The free talk palfish system is paid by the minute. Okay? It comes up to about $13.5 an hour as your base rate, 1.5 RMB. Now, it's not the $20 of the kids course or of other leading Chinese teaching platforms, but it is still a cushy little amount of money for the system that you're working with. You're having podcasts, calls, really mutually beneficial conversations, as I've outlined in the first vlog. So that $13.5 is a different to the twenty dollars you're earning on the kids course. There's less fatigue, zero fatigue in fact almost. There's less input of putting on a show. You're having these natural podcast calls so it's it does stand to reason that it's a little bit less pay. However, I'm gonna say here that we as Palfish, Palfish Free Talkers must kinda to quote the Beastie Boys, fight for our right. Don't don't listen to the misnomer. It's a bit of a misnomer to call it free talk and make it sound like, oh, it's all just a party and it's easy. It's still work. It's pleasant and it's very uplifting, as I've outlined, but it's still work. We cannot be setting it lower than 1.5 RMB. Otherwise, we just pack up and it's not worth your time. You know, there has to be a base minimum for this. So, 1.5 RMB to begin with, $13.5 an hour. And then you gradually set that up over the next few months to 2 RMB and then take yourself to 2.2, 2.3 RMB. Now, currently there seems to be a bit of a ceiling on palfish rate, which is acceptable, understandable. I do think in time that will go up. We sort of have to have a tug of war there to maintain a good high rate. You know, there's, there are tutors on there setting super low rates. Despite what I've written in this article about the new 1.5 minimum, that has not yet been, in, been put in place. And it, it appears to me that there are still tutors setting, charging 0.5 and 0.6 RMB. What's that? Uh, about $5 an hour? That's ridiculous. And that we need, to, we need to fight against that because that's devaluing the whole system and that's you know, forcing other tutors to have to go down and play that discount competition. I'm not going to engage in that discount competition. I am sticking to my rate. I'm worth that rate. I've worked hard to get to that rate after six months. And that's the way we need to go on this, okay? If you follow my, my reasoning, all right? So, yeah, let's stick to the actual pay system. Of that 1.5 RMB, there's no free lunch anywhere in life, okay? So, as we all know, you're being hosted by an app, a fantastic app like Palfish. They, of course, take a small commission. Now, it's a very acceptable and understandable commission in comparison to other apps. My man, LJ Esquire, big up my man, um, mentioned to me on my first vlog that there's an app, which I won't name, where they take the full rate for your first trial class with a new student. Now, that does not happen on Palfish. By any means, you simply get a 0.2 um, cut, all right? So, to put that into simple layman terms, if your rate is at 2.2 RMB, then when the call finishes, you bank into your wallet 2 RMB. If it's at 3.5 RMB, you finish with the equivalent of what the 3.3 3 RMB and it's so on, so on. If we're at 4 RMB per minute, you will come to 3.8. So, ipso facto, economies of scale, the higher you are, and anywhere beyond 2, 2.2, that commission is negligible, 
and not worth losing any sleep over. Okay, it's it's a perfectly acceptable uh, commission, you know. So, um, da 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 da. Yeah. So at that rate, all right, at the rate of two RMB, you're you're banking in about 100 RMB per hour. Hour-long podcasts are very doable once you get the flow of things, and 100 RMB for the hour is just a little bit less than the 110 for the kids course, all right? And 10 RMB, it's not that much of a drop, where you've had this wonderful hour-long podcast compared to the two split pedagogical conventional kids classes, okay? So, I'd rather take the free talk, and that's what I'm really, really working on. Taking that, albeit slightly lower rate, you're building, you're building towards gradually and over the years, overtaking the kids course earnings, okay? And what else do I need to get through here? Yeah, um, alright, so, with that rate, what can your monthly earnings be? You can realistically aim for a thousand dollars, one thousand dollars per month. Not a huge amount of money, it's not, uh, you're not going to be on the Forbes list, by any stretch of the imagination with a thousand dollars per month but for the what you're building this project you're building as a side project initially that is a, a really nice sum of money to bank in at the end of the month through Payoneer you see that come in and you're like wow I didn't have to lift a finger for that I had these awesome conversations where I'm learning about Chinese culture sociology history even a bit of the language and I'm bequeathing my own cultural knowledge to people and you've got your base kids class on another platform, which I do. So it all works out to a nice amount. If you combine the two, which many people are, you can easily be hitting two and a half to three thousand dollars per month and upwards, combined with a thousand dollars of free talk and one point five to two thousand of kids classes. Okay. So I probably should have and should mention here to finish off. Like, how are you paid? You know, I, I should have said that at the intro, but it's you're paid through Payoneer, okay? A really, really fantastic intermediary website. Exactly like Elon Musk's belong, <laughs> big up Elon Musk for his Tesla cars and for digging tunnels under the ground. My man is a genius. His PayPal system, you know, is the intermediary between your bank or your company and, and you. Um, Payoneer works the very same, although Payoneer gets quicker into your bank. With Palfish, it's too work with too many P's. With PayPal, we're talking two working days. With Payoneer, when Palfish extracts from your wallet and puts it into Payoneer, it's in Payoneer within two to three days. And once it's in Payoneer, it's in then into your bank on that day. It's on that day. Once Payoneer get their hands on it, they get it into your bank within one day. Okay, so sorry for not mentioning that sooner. Bit of a um, unstructured vlog here, but I do think I've gotten down to some really good, important points that you'd be curious about. How much can you earn, and how do you earn it? How much? Up to a thousand dollars a month, free talk. More than that on the kids class. Base rate to summarize: one point five RMB, about thirteen and a half dollars an hour. I'm now up at about $17 an hour on free talk. And how do you get it? Through Payoneer, okay? So, thank you so much everybody for watching. Hit the link below to join Palfish through Digino. You read my article on Palfish Pay and you get the job, okay? Shishi, zai jian, subscribe. Cheers.